Hello, everyone. I'm joined today with Christina Hoff Summers, uh, also known as Based Mom by many people in the Gamergate community. Uh, in the background for the video, we're just going to be showing the Airplay Afternoon panel, which Christina was a part of. And uh, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. How about you? Not too bad. Not too bad. Um, we're, just we're interviewed uh, Silver Wolf yesterday and Koretsky, I think, two two days ago, or I guess two and a half now. Yes, I heard that interview. Uh, what do you it's think good. of the Koretsky? Oh, okay. You know, I, I, he doesn't seem to like me, but I've always, I, I've always admired him because I thought he was very brave and um, took a lot of independence and initiative to allow that event to take place at all. But I guess he regrets doing it. No, I don't think he regrets doing it at all. I think he was a little bit skeptical of you and Milo. Well, I mean, everyone's skeptical of Milo. He's fucking Milo. He's a... <laughs> even <laughs> even we don't like him. <laughs> I can't speak oh, for everybody, I... but... Yeah, well, that's complicated. Yeah. Um, do you, uh, so I was going to start with just um, talking about Gamergate, but obviously Mr. Koretsky did make an allegation against you. Um. So I, I want to give you a chance to respond to that first if you want to, or do you want to talk about that later? No, let's address it. He said he seemed very disappointed that at this event in August of 2015 in Florida, uh, there was a panel which included Kathy Young and me and Milo Yiannopoulos. We'd all given our positions. We'd all spoken. It had gone on for a while. And then there was a bomb threat. And we went out, we were all, I actually, when we initially heard about the bomb threat, we decided to ignore it. But then the police came and forced us to leave. So we left. And what I remember is that uh, there was a lot of milling around and camaraderie and people were taking videos and photos and it went on and on. And, and, we thought, well, let's go to a cafe because we were by then we were all thirsty. It was very hot, and uh, there were we were sort of in a no man's land. There was nowhere to go, and uh, I was never told that they were going to convene a session in a garage and continue it. I found that out after because after a while I was so hot and ex just exhausted that I t went with Milo in a cab back to the hotel. There was nowhere else to go. Then I heard that there'd been an, you know, this lively event and I was, I was sorry I hadn't been there, but I didn't know about it. He never told me. I don't think I even saw him after the bomb, bomb scare. Okay, and uh, I, to clarify real quick, because uh, I don't think Mr. Koretsky intended it as an allegation. I think he just meant it as an observation. Like he wasn't like trying to accuse you or anything. I think he was just bringing up, hey, this was what I saw. From his perspective, yeah, he saw that, but I, I think is just the, the conclusion that he drew was the inference he made was wrong. I, quite the contrary, in the, the that was back in 2015, the heyday of Gamergate. We were, we were having uh, meetups, and Kathy and me and and uh, Ash Scow and Milo loved to talk to people, and. The idea that that we didn't want to talk, or I mean, it just wasn't wasn't it wasn't what I it wasn't what happened. But he has his position. But I'm I I will say that I thought he did a good job in a very difficult situation because Milo started attacking him in the program, as I recall, and that really bothered me because he was being attacked on all sides and he deserved credit rather than disparagement. And um, I was just very disappointed that that happened. And I, I hope I told him that, but I'm not sure I ever ever knew who he was, you know, by sight or talked to him. So anyway, if he's listening, he oh. did a good job. <laughs> <laughs> I think he is listening. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if not now, he'll probably watch the video later since he did say he wanted to watch these. And uh, not to uh, not to claim a special uh, privilege of being a woman of a certain age, but I think that that uh, special session convened about an hour, an hour and a half, maybe more, after the bomb threat. 
it was, I mean, there was no way I was going to be able to stay out there for two hours in the, that heat. And I think one woman almost fainted. Uh, it wasn't me, but it could have been. Anyway, um, but I was always happy to, at that time to talk to talk to gamers and people associated with Gamergate. It was, it was fascinating. Yeah, I was going to check and see the parking lot video to see what time it started, but it doesn't look like YouTube shows the times. It only shows the... I'm sure if I did like super tons of research, I could find the exact moment that somebody tweeted out, um, hey, here's my live stream. We're doing it by the carport to verify yeah. how long after the after the bomb threat it was. But um, this is pretty... Kathy, ca Kathy <laughs> told me it was a long time. I mean, I think she said an hour and a half or two hours, but you, you could ask Kathy Young and uh, whom uh, Mr. Koretsky forgot that she was even there. His memory isn't completely... Uh, clear on this event, but I, I think Kathy wrote about it to check what she had to say. But and, as you say, every, everything is documentable. So, yeah. And um, Paulo Munoz did say that it was over 100 degrees outside. Uh, now, some people might have heard Koretsky's commentary and thought, hey, look, you didn't care enough to go to the panel, but you, to the after panel, I guess, the, the post show to continue the discussion. Like that's how some people might've taken that. And if those people have doubts, do you have anything you want to say to them now? Well, I cared about the cause. I cared about the people. I, I mean, I didn't, I didn't get an honorarium as I recall to go down there. They, I think they crowdfunded just for our plane fare and, you know, lodging. There was no, at the time I was on a speaker circuit and getting, uh, paid to speak and there was this wasn't a paid this was uh just because i wanted to try to defend the gamers from what i thought was an unfair attack 